So hello and welcome friends to our channel IntroMag and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. So in our previous session we have seen that how the different parameters are required to be considered while designing a complete machine or a complete system. So in last session we have seen some of the parameters so let's see what are the remaining parameters. So just a quick recap over here we have designed a machine from the customer requirement that we want a automatic machine in which job will be gripped from one place to another place and then it will be placed at location B in some bin and the cycle repeats. So with this uh, requirement we have designed our complete machine with the fixtures and robots, pneumatic system, grippers, sensors, all these things right. So you can see over here we have a main panel, we have a robot for XY movement, we have a fixture for holding the job, then the beam for placing the job over here, we have an operator panel with the HMI to see what is happening inside the machine, we have curtain sensor for safety, we have start stop switch to start the machine, we have pneumatic wall gang uh, to supply the air to the accessories, then we have cylinder with the gripper assembly to hold the job and to move it from one place to another place right so we have considered all these factors and we have designed the machine so let's see so these are all the parameters and in the previous session we have already covered the four pa parameters so you can uh, watch out my previous session for uh, these four parameters so so let's move on uh, to the fifth parameter so what is my fifth parameter it is piping or, or tubing and uh, routing so this is also a very important factor right so in case of pneumatics you have pneumatic tubes and in case of hydraulics you can have a copper pipes or steel pipes according to the your uh, system right so you must consider the size of uh, the tubes because if you consider pneumatics the size can be say 6 od 8 od 10 od right so you uh, should think about the size of the tube according to your actuator size or other things it cannot it may not happen that all the things in the system are uh, require the same tubing size so you must be aware of that that you want different tube sizes same thing can happen with the help of pipes and in case of tubes there are different kind of colors which are also available so you must ensure from the customer that which kind of color should be used in the machine Then material of pipe and tube uh, yeah if we consider different kind of uh, systems the pipe can be of copper or steel and then the tube polyurethane or sometimes if the system is at a very high temperature uh, or chemicals are there so the tube material will change so you cannot use the same uh, tube in all the places so that's why you should think of this parameter also these things are small but if we don't think about these parameters at initial phase it can be a disaster it can be a disaster at the end uh, let's let's think like you are designing some pneumatic system in a, a oven and if you use a simple uh, polyurethane tube then what will happen it will get totally damaged right so you should think about this parameters then we have a routing direction uh, right left or machine top yes sometimes it happens that customer wants a specific routing dimension because uh, direction sorry because they have some their own standards so at that time you should ask that the routing should be taken from which direction the pneumatic entry can be from say left side or you can take it from say right side of the machine and then the routing can be done from say ground from the bottom side also then you can do the routing from top side also right so these are all uh, small parameters but uh, can uh, hamper your machine schedule a lot at the end because 
when there is an inspection happens or uh, at your shop floor the customer can say that i don't want uh, a routing at downside i want overhead routing why because while passing from this my operator can fall so this might be the reason so that's why you must uh, take care of all these small things also then we have fittings according to the pipe and tube right so as i said earlier in a same machine the tube sizes can be different let's consider in case in this case cylinder having different ports so it requires a tubing of say 8 od and the gripper requires tubing of say 10 od so will the connectors of both these pipes will be the same no so if you order the same connectors then that will be a problem so that's why you should uh, think of the fittings according to the pipe and tube sizes right so let's see the next thing the manufactured part material and finish so in the whole machine we will be manufacturing a lot of uh, things say the bracket for mounting the wall gang our fixture then as many of the brackets the bracket for mounting uh, the let's say robot so all these things are manufactured right so if there is a specific material requirement for those things the customer can say the fixture should be made up from stainless steel because it is corrosion resistant right otherwise you will uh, manufacture it in uh, in simply ms right uh, to, in order to save the cost but customer can ask you to make it from stainless steel so you should know this thing then uh, surface finish of the parts yes sometimes the customer wants a specific surface finish we, we know there are a lot of uh, different things aluminium parts are anodized it can be black on anodized or silver anodized right so customer can uh, may want black anodized and uh, you don't know about it you did silver anodizing so it's a waste of part right uh, then there are other surface finishing parameters also then color codes uh, yes the machine color codes uh, the parts which you do powder coating have some uh, color codes which is provided by the customer and most of the times it is mentioned in RAL code so you should take that code from uh, the customer along with the shade because sometimes the shade can also vary and customer may de uh, may deny to accept the machine right so you should take uh, some sample part with uh, the color code from the customer so let's see uh, the next parameter the component locations right so this uh, thing is also important uh, as we have considered here the pneumatic wall gang on the say right side and let's consider it is on the front of the machine so customer can say i want this on the back side of the machine then operator panel we have taken on the right hand side customer can uh, may want this to be on left hand side same with the main panel he may want it on the left hand side or uh, say right hand side so initially we assume some things but we should ask customer that at which location he wants all these things like main operator panel then the pneumatics then if there is a transformer then what should be its location we have here a start stop switch in order to start the machine so uh, customer wants a two hand start switch a single hand start switch what should be its location uh, what should be its uh, height from the ground so all these things are required to be ensured from the customer or you should think about all these parameters and if you don't have answer for uh, these parameters ask uh, the customer for these parameters and the last thing is sensors and their mountings right so i always say that machine is a combination of say mechanical things and electronic things so it's a mechatronics right it, they both go hand by hand right so here in our system we also require some kind of sensors in order to uh, prevent the human interruptions we have used the curtain sensor over here right then the job will be placed here so for presence uh, that whether the job has been placed on the fixture or not we will require one sensor then again it will move to this location and it will place uh, the job over, over here in the bin 
so here again you will require one kind of sensor uh, for sensing the part right so this is our uh, our thinking so again there are different types of sensor sometimes customer can ask for through beam type of sensor or proximity sensor the number of sensors we have considered e over here these number of sensors only customer may want some additional kind of sensor then what is the sensor layout whether you are mounting these uh, sensor what are their locations right and then the sensor actual mountings because the sensor is very sensitive part if you don't mount it properly it might not give you the required output so that's why the mounting of sensor should also be considered you should go into the catalog of the specific sensor they mention how the sensor a particular sensor should be mounted and it can be at a specific height or angle so according to that its mounting bracket should be designed so that's why we sh you should know the sensor mounting uh, parameters sensor mounting things right so uh, this is it so we have covered all the major parameters that are required to be considered while designing a complete mechanical system i have tried uh, to add lot of things uh, which I know personally because I have completed say four years in the industry so uh, I have gone uh, through these things and that's why I thought that I can share uh, these things with you and anyone can might get benefited out of it or the students uh, can know that how the actual uh, system flows in the industry because what we learn in academics is only a design of single part right but uh, when you are designing a complete system it's a big thing so you have to think of all these parameters right so i hope you understood all the parameters and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then Stay home, stay happy. Thank you for the patient listening. Thank you.